How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over how to do create auto sieving. More importantly, how to change some of the create auto sieving stuff, some of the code. And there was a couple of things that I've seen some of the comments lately of people being confused about certain things or having their text wrong. And I just want to show once again, before we get into this, how to specifically do individual things. So one of the biggest things people are getting, uh, they're, they're posting their code in the comments and asking about it, which is fine. I seen somebody doing a mod trying to change some of the factory muscular stuff, which we will be getting into here soon in another video. And they put the TFMG because they know that's how people spell it in YouTube titles. I want to let you guys know that this is how you guys actually find the name. So you want to go ahead and just basically search up whatever item you want. And let's look up the firebox essentially because that's what I was on. You can see down there in the bottom of the uh, pop up when I'm hovering over something, it shows you a name. By the way, you find that by holding F3 and hitting H, I believe it is. So right now I have toolboxes hidden which is how your game probably is by default hit that again f3 plus h and then you look into your inventory you can see that we have more information so at the very 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 bottom you can see it's actually called create industry the name of the mod that they have for the public is called the factory must grow that's the name of it but when it comes to coding and when you're coding and changing things you want to look at the very last name this one's called create industry but most people would probably think it's called the factory must grow so they would put that in their code and they were having issues with it so i just want to bring that up before we get into this because you're going to have to know how to do that to do most of the code if you look here we're going to show you what we're going to do right now we have a um creative crate with some cobblestone in it and then we have it splitting off into a sieve now one of the comments was of how to change the sieving recipes how to adjust things with recipes of the sieves or just how to do your own custom recipes with the sieves and that's what this one's going to be today so as a little bit of a showcase let's go ahead and flick the levers on to get everything running and actually now that i'm thinking about it i'm pretty sure the exact comment was how to change how long or how fast something can sieve and we're going to show that today too now if you look on this side it gets very loud over here it's sieving concrete bringing it underground into belts and bringing it up into this chest and it's getting us nether stars very overpowered you can do this in your survival if you want to but this is just what we're going to be showcasing today also just a little bit of a sneak peek if we look over here we got a whole slew of videos we're going to be doing here soon i already have them preset up and these are all based off of comments that we've gotten in the past videos so if there's anything very specific you want to see make sure to leave them down in the comments and i will try my best to look into them i've been making lists of everything everyone's been asking about and we will definitely be doing our best to get to all of those so this isn't really nothing crazy. We have these dropping them at a stack at a time from here, splitting them off with force split, taking them into brass funnels, into a sifter with a brass sieve on it. After they get sieved, they get brought up to the belt and put into here. You gotta shut that off because it's extremely loud and that's what the code is going to be doing today. I still hear this guy running and you're super annoying. All right, well, without further ado, let's go ahead and just show you the code on how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my mod pack area. This is my specific one. I've been streaming. You guys can check me out streaming here on this YouTube channel, usually on the weekends. Now that this folder has been opened, you guys can see here we got a lot of different folders and we're going to be messing with the QJS folder, as you guys know, but I'm going to show you also how to get information about whatever you're creating. So this one's about sieving. So if we go ahead and then type in the word create sift or something where's it at great sift and addition sifter right there that's the mod that we want so on my other monitor i have a folder called mod extractions it's nothing crazy it's literally just a folder that i created on my desktop you can see we have create sifter right here what you want to do to be able to get any of the information from this mod so you know what you're doing is copy this mod into a different folder so you don't lose it don't drag and drop because it'll take it out of your mods folder copy it by clicking on it hitting Control c Going back into the other folder and hitting Control V. Now I already got that, so I guess I can replace the file. It doesn't matter. What you want to do now is right click on that Create Sift and click Extract Files. When you do that, it's going to create a folder of the mod, but extract it. This is all the mod information. Go to Data, Create Sifter, and then Recipes. You, of course, got tags here too for your items. Of course, you got message.json, the JSON, that's going to give you different things. But what we're looking for is recipes. Of course, I guess you could always do it to loot tables. So this should change based off of different blocks, I guess. But we're going to go to the two recipes. Now, this right here will tell you different types of recipes. You got sifting. Uh, we got dirt, 
spring mesh. So what happens, I guess, whenever you have a waterlogged one, a bunch of different things, but I'm just gonna focus on like, if you're using a brass sifter and a brass mesh, I guess. And that's just how you understand your different recipes. So to continue off of that, let's go ahead and open all of create folder open folder and then cube.js now this one's a really big one um, it's kind of cool because you can actually do multiple um, recipes in one folder i found that out not long ago you can see right here we got to create sifting cobblestone so i just went ahead and copied one of my other recipes that i already had and then pasted it in here changed the name and then changed the code and then what you want to do also is that folder i already had open when you're in the recipes area of the create sifting just copy most of the code and we're actually going to break that down too because i want to make sure you guys understand how to do everything so great sifter data great sifting recipes now if we go open up like sifting is what we need to go to we got gravel brass mesh so this is sifting gravel and a brass mesh open that one up and we have our code on the other screen the only reason i'm not opening it just yet is we don't actually need much out of it right now let's go ahead and right click open with in microsoft visual studio we've done recorded half the tutorial but my spelling errors made the tutorial very hard to read but this is the code now before you go ahead and just steal the code and take off i want to show you how you guys can get the code itself. This is the original code from the sieving. I already showed you how to look at the folders, the recipes, and this is one of the original recipes here. This is their code. So what you want to do is copy from here, from type create sifter, sifting all the way down to this last bracket. Don't go to the curly bracket, go to this one. You want to make sure you're copying everything between the curly brackets because you're going to need that for code. Copy all that and then on something that's originally copied and pasted to edit, like another bit of code that we've already done before, just copy and paste one, change the name, and then use that as your recipe. It'd be the easiest way to do it. And then from this bottom bracket here, all the way up to type is where you want to paste in that new thing. Now I've adjusted mine a lot, as you can see here, all the chances from the other one, all these ones down here, I removed every last bit of the chances except for one of them. I just deleted and cleared out that last line. And there you go. That's how I did that. Control Z so I can have that for later. And that's literally all I did. I Well, I changed some names, of course, but I took out all the chances except for one of them. I changed it to being up to 0.9 for Minecraft Diamond. Processing time is at 150. I'm assuming you could go lower than that. And then of course the item I want to be sieving would be cobblestone. And of course this right here is gonna be telling you what kind of mesh you have in there. So if you change this to be string underscore mesh, the sifter would have to use a string mesh to be able to get your result. I have mine set as brass mesh, and then everything has been saved and we did a slash reload here in Minecraft. And if we look, as you can see, it is sieving my cobblestone with a brass mesh and it is giving me plenty of diamonds. We've done lots of uh, testing on this. And it's honestly very, very simple. As long as you follow the things we taught in the beginning on how to find these certain tags for each sieving type, for each um, mesh that you're using, whether it's a string mesh or andesite mesh or brass mesh, it's very easy. Then you just gotta change what block you want it to use and then what the output of the recipe is. And of course, I'm assuming you can add as many chances that you want. You can see here, looks like they got what, like nine of them here. All you have to do is go from one curly bracket to the other, copy and paste that right below this one, as long as it's inside of this these brackets here. You can keep adding as many um, chances as you would like. But that is how to change the crafting recipes of the Create Sifting and how to change the timing or how long something takes to sift in the Create Sifting. And of course, along with all the other information, along with how to find any information about Create Sifting or any other mod that you need. But I think that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Leave some things down in the comment if you guys want to see any other recipe types or anything of that sort. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. And make sure to stay tuned because we got more videos coming. All comment related too. See you guys. Bye.